What's going on, crypto cousins? This is your Bitcoin baby daddy here with another episode. If you're new here, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because I make content every other day or when I feel like it. You know how it goes. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the five Bitcoin charts you need to be looking at. All right, so the first chart we're going to be looking at is just the price chart of Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? Um, right now we're sitting at what? um eighteen thousand eight hundred fifty seven dollars if we go ahead and squish this a little bit closer pushing this a little bit closer um we're gonna put this on the daily right here the macd is just going out of control it's doing one of these things that it's either gonna bounce off of this little line and keep going higher so we're about to test that or if this is the top for real um but it looks like we're look we're coming back down to the rsi to test the what is it this little 70 point right here so it looks like this is going to come down and maybe do another one more bounce but we'll see because looking at the weekly um weekly this thing is just it, it looks like we're almost done guys like i'm not even gonna lie this looks like we're almost done and it's time to like chill out for a while so um i don't know how much longer we can go but if they look like look boy they look like they about to buy another dip bruh i'm i'm not even feeling like they look like they about to buy another dip and it's gonna this thing for the this thing for the move again at least that's what it looks like i don't know i could be wrong so just you know do your own research and hopefully your dollar cost averaging but let's get into this see these five bitcoin charts there's actually nine bitcoin charts but i picked the five good ones because a, a, a lot of this stuff is like cool whatever but i picked the five ones that i liked so this first chart that i wanted to show you guys was addresses with a balance of ten dollars or more um this essentially just says that, that there are more people holding bitcoin because if you at least have ten dollars that means that's a new wallet with ten more dollars in it so the number of wallets increasing that just means that there are more people in the network than they were back in 2017 and so we're hitting this new all-time high we're already at all new all the time highs for this chart so more people own bitcoin more people want bitcoin to go up this next chart that i wanted to show you guys was open interest on the cme bitcoin futures so if you guys don't know what the cme bitcoin futures is it's a product that um certain individuals or how do i put it like certain institutions can use like certain people with a whole lot of money can use this product then this isn't a product for like people like me or you that would be watching this kind of video you know what i'm saying what that's not the sound that i wanted to play anyways this is a product that wasn't around back in 2017 i actually bought my first bitcoin when this product came out in 2017 in december but um looking at this we can see that the interest in bitcoin since july 2019 has just been on a tear and so more people with this kind of money more people that can use this kind of product a more traditional product than what we have in the crypto space that just means you know that type of investor is coming into the space people with that kind of money so of course the price is going to reflect the type of people that are getting in the space you know what i'm saying going to this next chart um this is actually bitcoin options open interest so just like how i was just talking about the um cme um bitcoin options is another financial product for like a different type of trader but a more institutional more um regulated version of it you know what i'm saying i don't know i, I just said no you know what i'm saying like 17 times because you you, you got to know what i'm saying right or am i just talking gibberish leave that in the comments below uh, let me know if i'm talking pure gibberish in the comments <laughs> anyways um so bitcoin's option interests um it, like i said it's another financial tool for a different type of trader regulated market um this wasn't around in 2017 so of course um another financial product that is within bitcoin that wasn't around then which is also helping the price go up you know what i'm saying people are betting that the price will go up with these kind of it um instruments financial instruments blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to use fancy words, man. Don't don't judge me, dog. Right. So this next chart that I wanted to show you guys was Bitcoin's price in the Turkish lira. So um, 
this is actually another bullish indicator because what's happening around the world is people aren't using their own currencies anymore all these different smaller countries they're going through like these crises um and i know this is a very sad thing to talk about because you know you don't want a country to go through a crisis because you know that just hurts the people but we can see here that so big so what that's pretty much saying is bitcoin in that turkish country um is booming and it's it's way more valuable than their own currency and where the crazy thing is we we live in america so we're spoiled to like the us dollar so we don't really like be feeling it but all these other countries they they thrive on the us dollar because their own currency is going to nothing so it's crazy to see that the price of bitcoin in their own currency is not it's already skyrocketing it's already keep keep going so it's already at all time highs if you want to say it so that's pretty i i feel like that's pretty interesting to talk about and i i i want to get into this a little bit more later on the, the last chart that i actually wanted to show you guys was the stable coin free uh, stable coin free float um so what this chart is showing is the amount of stable coins that are out there right now um a lot of it is usdt some usdc some die h and busd some paxos and all that good but majority of it is tether um and the second place is usdc of course so the reason why this is an important metric is because back in the day people would trade bitcoin for other cryptocurrencies and whatnot and they would just keep going in and out of bitcoin to different altcoins and whatnot but now that we have um tether and you know they had tether in the last bull run but now that we have tether we have usdc we have all this stuff people are trading with you know stable coins instead of trading with bitcoin so essentially people are using bitcoin as like the reserve currency um for long-term holding while they trade with the stable coin and a lot of people that thought that this would be a bad thing but it's actually a good thing because now now it shows that people would rather hold on to their bitcoin than actually trade it with other things they, they would actually want to trade with the usd usdc or like the usdt now the reason why people thought this was a bad thing was because that because now bitcoin lost one of its reasons for you know usage in a sense um being that main pair with all these different cryptocurrencies but we can see that like the price is still going up even without being that main pair for all these different cryptocurrencies if the, if you get it you get it you understand but essentially bitcoin getting weaker is essentially making it stronger yeah i know don't, don't don't ask too many questions into it but guys um that's really all that i wanted to share with you guys today um let me know in the comments what you think um um i'll leave a link to this article so you can see all nine different charts but i picked out the five that i felt like were the most interesting but um other than that thank you guys so much Make sure you like, subscribe, share this with your peoples, and I don't know, I guess buy the dip, dawg. You know how it goes. Other than that, check me out next time. Take it easy. Peace.